for the third presenter, I'll call Mr. Ronaldo Morgan James from Universitas Amikom Yogyakarta. He will explain about classification of X-ray COVID-19 image using convolution neural network. Mr. Morgan, okay. please, the floor is yours. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Christine. Okay, I will uh, screen uh, right. Mr. Yu, can Mr. Morgan share screen? Uh, okay. Yes, I think he already is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, Ronald Morgan James. I'm a student from Amicom University, Yogyakarta. Today, I will present the paper uh, classification of X-ray COVID-19 image using convolutional neural network. Uh, this paper write by me and my lecturers, Mrs. Kusrini and uh, Mr. Muhammad Rudianto Arif. Uh, so let's get started. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, before explaining the paper material, uh, I will explain the stack of the presentations. Uh, the first uh, introductions which will explain about the COVID-19 in general and what uh, problems are happening. And the second uh, purpose method will explain the analysis of the process that occurs, what step will take and what performance the model use. And the next uh, classification, I will explain the result obtained from the process analysis that has been carried out. And the last one is uh, conclusions. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, start. Uh, what is Corona? Without me explain further, maybe we already understand about the Corona and its effect. Uh, and one of the implication if, uh, is that we have to attend conference online today. But I will briefly explain COVID-19, uh, a virus that has a significant impact on us. Coronavirus or uh, COVID-19 is an acute infection disease called, uh, caused by a new type of coronavirus. The disease affects uh, the respiratory system uh, actually with fever, fatigue, dry cough, and shortness of breath. Coronavirus was first discovered in Wuhan City, China at the end of December 2019. The virus that has become the safe republic health problem is contact is very quickly and has spread almost all over the world. And uh, why do I say that the transmission of disease is very fast? Uh, let's see next. Okay. Okay, uh, you can see, uh, let's look uh, at the following graph. The graph uh, show that uh, COVID-19 case distribution, uh, which I took on World Health Organization website. Uh, from January to August, the graph always seemed to be increasing. You can see uh, this uh, America, Southeast Asia, Europe, Eastern Mediterranean, Africa, and Western Pacific. No wonder why uh, the government, actually Indonesia, is still very strange and everything uh, about this virus. Okay, now uh, what effort we made? Uh, uh, the people of the world, including uh, Indonesia, have done various way to anticipating to reduce the spread of coronavirus. One way to do this to apply rules to limit outdoor activities and require everyone to wear masks. Then another way that uh, can use to detect COVID-19 is drug test. And second, the most common test commonly used to diagnosis COVID-19 is using PCR or, uh, or a swab test. However, uh, because the sensitivity of PCR, a method is low, uh, 60 until 70%, can be done other way to diagnosis uh, the disease uh, early. Okay, now uh, what's a problem? Uh, the COVID-19 test uh, is uh, reasonably difficult uh, of available testing tools. Uh, due to the limited availability of COVID-19 testing device, other diagnostic measures uh, other than PCR are necessary because the sensitivity of diagnosing is still less optimal for early diagnosing uh, and more uh, accurate. Now, uh, with the problem, uh, and uh, what should we do? Uh, and the first, uh, because COVID-19 attack epithelial cells where they sell a uh, line or repository tract, another way to do this to analyze a patient lung health using X-ray. One alternative that can be done to uh, use X-ray imagery. In second, consider that almost every hospital has an X-ray image machine uh, commonly used to diagnose pneumonia, possible to use this X-ray media to test COVID-19 without a special test kit. Uh, but uh, however, in the analysis process to diagnosis uh, X-ray image, 
required a radiologist uh, and take quite a lot of time, which means a cutting of time uh, that is involved for a medical practitioner uh, if a patient is sick. Therefore, automated system development to detect and classify COVID-19 using X-ray is necessary to save medical professional, professional time. Okay. Uh, Okay, now, uh, convolutional neural network. Uh, to help uh, with problem that will be carried out, uh, we need to good method for detection and classifying uh, an X-ray image. And uh, in study, uh, deep learning is proposed for automatic diagnosing of COVID-19. And we use a convolutional neural network. Uh, what a convolutional neural network and why we use uh, CNN or convolutional neural network? Uh, CNN is a multi-layer perception development which has good of feature extraction and is specially designed to process two-dimensional data or image data. Uh, this model is used because from some studies using similar model, it has good product, uh, good accuracy and performance. Okay. And second is proposed method, uh, analysis process. Uh, process analysis is at a stake where order will analyze what process the CNN model we need to classify COVID-19 correctly. And now uh, we have a two step in our analysis process with a input data set, pre-processing, training data, evaluation of data, and uh, result. First, uh, this step, uh, we collect image data set to train CNN uh, models to recognize image according to the categories or label provided in the data evaluation process. Furthermore, uh, CNN process recommend, recommend consisting uh, of the preprocessing stack at which the data will reprocess according to the model needs, such as uh, resize the image in a preprocessing. And during the experimental process, after a preprocessing scene, we create uh, an experimental by changing the airport parameter and data set ratio within the CNN architecture and insert into scenarios with uh, different parameters. Uh, it is terms of uh, evaluation of data, and uh, from evaluation data, we have a uh, classification result. Okay, next, COVID-19 uh, COVID X-ray image data set. In here, uh, we use uh, two, uh, two resource uh, data set in difference, and, and the first data set used in the study was obtained from the GitHub repository, Dr. Joseph Johan. Uh, a postdoctoral fellow at University of Montreal. And the second data set is the data set uh, of a normal chest X-ray image collected uh, in repository Kegel, uh, an X-ray pneumonia data containing uh, pneumonia labels and a normal. But uh, we took data with the category of normal uh, chest X-ray only and uh, not use uh, pneumonia labels. And we can see uh, we have a 160 uh, a number for uh, COVID-19 image and the same for a uh, normal. Uh, we can see uh, COVID-1 uh, means uh, COVID-19 and a normal one is uh, image normal. Okay. Analysis uh, process about the CNN. This section uh, will explain the process that the CNN model will take. The process will start from the data preprocessing. And as we know, preprocessing, uh, we resize the image to 70 by 70 pixels and uh, we make uh, some scenarios for the CNN. Uh, the CNN, uh, we make uh, nine, uh, nine scenarios uh, with a different epochs and data set ratio. Uh, and, and this study will propose a model that focus on the parameter of the CNN architecture and does not use a pretense model. Because the study is experimental, uh, we try to change CNN's architecture model parameter, searching for the best model uh, for accuracy. Okay, uh, the CNN classification. The stack M2 measures are assess a model of whether the classification model is good or less good. The proposed classification model is sequential with a learning alert of 0 0.01 and use SGD as, uh, as an optimizer. In the classification process, we deliberately change some parameters such as uh, epochs and data set ratio, as you know. Uh, but there's also fixed parameter for these classifications other settings are defined with the same value. Uh, architectures using two convolutional layer, two layer pooling and fully connected layer with uh, 30, uh, 32 filters uh, 
three by three kernel and college uh, to by two size and user softmax as a classification function. Uh, we can see uh, the first step, uh, the preprocessing, where we resize the image uh, 70 by 70 with uh, RGB image. And uh, then to, uh, to COVID-19 and uh, normal in the parameter. Okay. Uh, model performance. Uh, uh, in the in the research, we uh, we choose a confusion matrix to a model performance. Uh, a confusion matrix is used to calculate accuracy in the concept of data mining or decision support system to test result, whether uh, it is good or not good from the resulting accuracy result. Uh, this method provides information that compares model classification classification result with actual classifications to measure a matrix model performance from the confusion matrix. Several performance models are typically used to uh, name uh, accuracy, uh, precision, and recall. Okay. The classification result. Okay. Uh, the following are the result of calculation using the convolution matrix with the scanners we have uh, compiled previously. Uh, in this experiment, we test five times for each scenario and use the best result from. Uh, the five experiment as a benchmark and the result of the scenario. And of the nine scenarios that have to perform, it shows that the scenarios on CN and uh, 5 and CN and 8 get the high uh, classification result for classifying COVID-19 chest X-ray image. The proposed method deliver 97.91% uh, for accuracy, 98% uh, for precision, and 98% uh, for recall. Uh, we can see the following graph. Okay, and last is uh, conclusions. Okay, in the research that has done, it can conclude the convolutional neural network algorithm model used to convolution convolutional layers, two layers of pooling fully connected layer with uh, epoch of 40 and data set ratio uh, 70 for 30 can classify COVID X-ray image with 97.91 uh, for accuracy, 98 precision and 98 for recall and seconds. Singing's epoch and dataset ratio also play an important role in helping this classification model. From previous, uh, from previous uh, research, focus on trying to pretend to get accuracy and research that as another method as a classification is felt uh, that his model is more effective because uh, only focus on the parameter of the architecture model along without having to try many pre pretense model and add uh, other algorithm. And last, the study contribute to a possibility of diagnosing COVID-19 by saving medical practitioner a little time on the application of scoring that can be used as a filtering tool COVID-19 subjects and confirm. Okay. And thank you. Thanks for the attention. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Pak Morgan, for your great presentation. Okay. I will invite participant again to give question, please. Um, may I ask one question? Yeah, please. Right. Yeah, um, uh, I saw the uh, images in the uh, slide, but um, okay. to me, I'm not exactly, uh, it's not exactly clear to me, but what was like the difference between the image of a normal patient and the image of a COVID-19 patient that enabled the model to, uh, to, to detect that you know, this image is a COVID-19 patient? Okay, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Morgan, please, you can explain why, uh, what is the differences between the image for normal and COVID-19? Um, okay, uh, actually, uh, I don't, don't, don't know what the different, uh, different uh, image, but uh, I get the data set with uh, labels. Uh, uh, so, uh, we, we just uh, uh, take the data set with uh, labels uh, in uh, open data set, but uh, we we don't know what uh, the difference with the image. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the explanation. But I think it's uh, challenging for you to explore what is the differences, right? <laughs> so uh, we will have a more uh, acute explanation about it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
I think enough for Pak Morgan. Thank you for your explanation. And uh, we will move to the next uh, presenter. I think it's the last presenter in this session.